Okay, first enemy dead. The reason why I chose the tiger is just because it's a tiger. Fellas, welcome back to the channel. Today, today's, today's gonna be fun. Pure fun. Today we are role playing as a all-in-one tank commander, gunner, driver, machine gunner, pretty much a, a one-man army as we already do, but with hardware. And powered by Thrustmaster. Thank you, Thrustmaster, if you guys are watching this video. And thank you guys uh, who have purchased any of their products, headphones, joysticks, throttle, rudder. Thank you guys uh, for the support. Uh, but today we're using the Thrustmaster HOTAS joystick, throttle, and the TPR rudder pedals that you can't see, but you can check them out in the description below to learn more. The best rudder pedals I've ever used in my whole entire life. Uh, the reason why you can't see them is that last video, uh, people were asking uh, for a more facial face cam. Pretty much just more straight up so you can, you know, see my face and I'm not like this the whole time. But let me show you what I've done. So we're going to be using the Tiger today. And it's going to be a little hard, but I feel like I can muscle memory it a little bit to um, do okay. Maybe like one or two kills a game. But I have my my C my my C view or how you look around your tank uh, attached to the uh, track IR here. Which sorry about that. Which um, tracks your head movements. And, and uh, a lot of people say that that's lame. I don't want to tilt my head all the way around to look all the way around. But you really don't. It's just like that. Not much. I don't mind it. And uh, if you're thinking about playing sim, this is a must for uh, being competitive. VR is more fun. But VR, you can't really spot medium distance. So to drive, we have our throttle in idle. Our gear is in neutral. And we have, this is a manual gear. We have manual transmission. And we can put it into fourth gear and put the throttle forward. And we'll start moving and maxing that gear out. We can shift by pressing this little thumb pad here. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it right here. Usually, I like to stick around sixth gear. It's really good for maneuvering. And we're going to be playing a little slow today just because we're not going to have the quickest uh, twitch reflexes. Put it in neutral, bring the throttle back. And then this is where the fun begins. So the, th uh, so the, so the joystick is the turret, which it, it's just really cool. You really feel connect connected to the tank. As you can see, left, right. And we can zoom in with the pinky switch and get on uh, target. So... I think my engagement or my aiming time will be probably eight times longer than normally would it would be with the mouse, but it's more it's more satisfying. So let's get back in gear. We'll go full power. We can go. We we can hop into seventh. It'll take us a while to reset RPM, but we'll be okay. Rudder pedals. It's how it's how we turn the tank. You can see if we stay in sixth gear, we're gonna just seize up the tracks here in a second, or just go really really slow. So we want to downshift. While we're doing maneuvers, so a lot to do, a lot more to do than we would do with just a mouse and automatic transmission. I think we'll be okay. Let's hop in our first game. Our best chance to do well with this, especially on a map like you know a smaller map, is to follow our teammates. Well, we'll drop a gear here, and full. No, we gotta. Yeah, gear six is probably our best bet for maneuvering this terrain. Maybe gear seven. Yeah, we're gonna get in gear seven there. 2800s are like, sh oh gosh, M18s. Why? Stay for, oh gosh, drop the throttle, get in the scope. They're already here. We'll toggle the zoom. I think he's over here. He's got to be kind of. He's behind this um, rubble here. I also have my machine guns bound to this button. It's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Well, look at He's right. Yep. He's right here. A little bit right. A little bit right. Fire. Boom. One down. Get out of the scope. You're welcome, team. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. We need to put it. We, we need to downshift a lot. Okay, first enemy dead. The reason why I chose the tiger is just because it's a tiger. 
That lucky son of a gun. Those two look. All right, good news. We're in a much bigger map, better for our guns. Bad news is uh, uh, 6.7. 6, 6. Can we go to gear eight safely? Uh, gear seven is better for us right now. Uh, the whole play in this map is that you can't see what I'm pointing at, but I'll, I'll, I'll go to the map view. We're going to play right about here just so we can shoot anyone trying to do anything coming into the, um, from this spawn crossing this map or this, uh, opening right here. We can side shoot them and get some incomers from their spawn. Okay. We got good camo too. Got something moving out there. Getting to cover, getting to cover. Let's go. Oh God, this is no bueno. Drop gear. That's gonna be a um, a T a twenty nine T thirty. I'm gonna try it. We can just get into cover over here. And stop the tank. Maybe a little bit more forward. Stop the tank. Okay. Let's look left for a little bit here. This is a decent spot. But we might be a little bit... I see something right here. It looks like a turret. I don't think that's active. I'm just going to stay here. Is that, is that, is there a super Pershing? Well, I'll... Oof. Well, is this turret turned sideways? I can't, I don't know. We're gonna fire? Oh, okay. No one shot you from over here. That, that was a great shot, though. His, his turret is side, though. Hey, what's that? Look at, what is that? Is that a T... Guys, they're over here. You got to shoot them. I don't have the... Yo, he... Yep. Oh, wow. Okay, we just bounced. I'm going to try to get this guy behind him. A little bit to the right. A little bit to the right. A little bit to... Here we go. Oh, snap. I'm happy with that. I don't think we're going to bounce this shot, though. Oh, yes! <laughs> That's right. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do. We can push forward a little bit. Uh, this, this button. Oh, we got side shooters. Oh, hey, Coda. Uh, we'll try to repair. Hey, Coda. Just, we'll just keep it turret here. No one needs to know that we're here. Except that guy. What is he? What is he? <laughs> I know. I'll get him next time. This time we're going to be trying the tiger too. And yes, there is an elephant in the room. You're not alone. Every I think we're all in the same boat. Like, I mean, just the simplest thing. The, the color in this room, the lightness in this room probably looks different. Uh, my shirt's probably different. My hair is probably longer and my beard's probably longer. Longer. And that's because you guys are right. This has uh, been recorded maybe like three weeks since I first started this video. Uh, my camera sits right on the edge of my desk to get like, you know, the field of view I want. And any kind of bumps are here. Let me hold a leg. Any kind of bumps like that, getting back into the seat, readjusting. Um, yeah, one of those. One, if one leg goes over, the rest follow. So the lens broke. I do apologize. Uh, so that that's that. But we're going to beef it up a little bit with a Tiger 2H. See if that kind of gets us into that sweet 6.7 BR. 
Hopefully it won't drag us up. Tiger one, Tiger H1's just well, it's it's a good tank, but you first in T uh, T29s all day. Go, go, go. Get in my way. Get in my way. I'm going. I'm a sniper and that's all I'm good for. God damn it. Okay. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Yes! Push me! Danke schön. Okay, we are semi ready to engage. If I can get a shot on the move, that would be uh, relatively impressive. Like right here is really good, but I'm, I'm a little exposed. I want to. God, God, God dang these nose itches, man. Like, and the Tiger 2 has a really tall silhouette. Okay, shift down to gear three so we can kind of creep up to this position. They usually like, oh man, I got to and then go, dang, this is, you really got to have the right key boundings. I could sit and use this bush as cover, but I, I guarantee you at the ranges that I'm going to be shooting, it's just going to despawn for them. Okay, we'll sit here for a bit, right? Oh my god, that's a tank. You guys see that? I don't know what it is. Oh, Shiza. Ah! <laughs> Woohoo! Lower plate. Beautiful. Okay. I probably even couldn't pull that off in my with the mouse. They're all over Bravo. I just like sitting and using the snipes. Okay, but that's not really helping our team out. How many players are left? Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Well, the, the RU251 is going to do what I'm wanting to do, and he's much better at doing the flanky spanky stuff. I could just sit. Oh, let's not get trapped here. Let's go to the right a little bit. I could sit here. This isn't a half bad spot at all. Like right here. Maybe give you a little bit more left traverse. Just so the angle kicks in. And then maybe a little bit of reverse here. Other way. Beautiful. Hold that. Sorry. It was a little difficult. And hold. Am I really in a balancing spot? A little bit forward. Stop. I, oh. Oh. Uh oh. Oh man, this, this is not the best spot. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Oh my gosh, we just bounced the uh, FE 4005. Hey, hey everyone, they're over here. Over here. Wow, that's actually really impressive. I gotta keep popping smoke because that FE 4005 hasn't been hit yet. Uh oh, okay, that's, that's definitely friendly. To my right, I see him on the mini map. Oh, damn, guys, I'm so dead here. Overshot. Oh, my gosh. We just snuck that in there. Where's the FE4005 at? What the hell is that? Are those bombs for me? I'm already disabled as it is. What is this? Uh, it's uh, FE4005. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to fifth gear. Okay. Let's go to second. There we go. Okay. We'll just go to fifth gear. And we'll go to original snipey spot. But there's two or three guys already up there. Maybe we should take a more of an a, a aggressive approach and just sit behind this dead Stug or KV-1. Go! We can do it, guys. We can do it.
Ooh, okay. Actually, guys, there goes the FB4005. Okay, we're going to try to team up with this panther over here. Composed. Just it's not the best for urban fighting. I mean, third person, I can kind of do it okay, but it's when I have to scope in where, where I have to be really tedious with the, the gun lane. Uh oh. Oh wow, I didn't even see that guy. This forest, man, I I wish you could just napalm it. Okay, loader track. He's dead. Turret forward. What killed the Panther two? A darn, a Centurion killed it. From where though? From the front left maybe? Okay, we got a spawn camper, that's okay. He's spotted, our tank should be able to take him out. Nice and easy does it. Nothing too drastic here. I'm a little bit faster now, gear five. M50 took out one of our buddies. Okay, okay. Mission accomplished, reverse. Oh gosh, stop. Now he's gonna, oh God, okay, okay, okay. So that was completely played poorly. Okay, and we're gonna win this game. This is gonna be, oh, come on, oh. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, shit. My goodness gracious. That's our best game so far. Three targets destroyed. I mean, I can see myself getting semi okay with this, but what this would be wonderful with is uh, VR. VR, tank, sim. I'm just waiting for the uh, next generation of uh, VRs to come out to where uh, the, the resolution will be like two times more because VR right now is fun. And sure, a lot of people will do well with it, but um, God, does it strain your eyes looking for targets, man? And then, then if you see a target, you don't really know what it is. I don't even know how you would spot tank targets at like maybe a thousand five. Planes are already hard enough, but War Thunder kind of puts up a little dot for you to see um, much easier. Fellas, hope you have enjoyed this video. Many thanks for Thrustmaster for powering the channel and... Um, Defeat. You don't gotta rub it in, War Thunder. Or I've been there. Uh, thanks, thanks for sponsoring the channel, powering the channel. Thanks for hanging out today, guys. Have a safe rest of the weekend. Peace out.